guys, look what I just got. Well, that was a really successful trip because I got to the store early not knowing whether people would be lining up or not and one of the workers was out the front and he's nice, I've seen him before because it's a local store and I just said, hey, do you have them? He didn't know what I was talking about at first. I said the thing that looked like a giant oversized cork and he knew what I was talking about then and I kind of stood out there for another five minutes. This was still at eight o'clock and he came back out and said, is that the only thing you want? And I said, yes. So he took me inside and let me buy two before because it's not a special buy the way that other ones are. If it had been launching today, I wouldn't have been able to do it, but because it was just something that was coming back out today and some of the other stores had already sold them, he was nice enough to just let me in and buy them. So no mess, no rush, nobody else was in the store, nobody else had even lined up yet. So I got my two stools, one for me and one for my sister. And of course now I've got to head home and start the work day. <laughs> Fun times. Look what I have to show you guys. It's the infamous Aldi natural wood side table. That was discussed in a previous video. It's not without its faults. There are many variations. It's natural wood, it's going to be. It's also a inexpensive product. It's $70 compared to the hundreds and hundreds of dollars other people charge for lumps of wood. So um, there are cracks and there's a varnish on here that you could potentially sand off. I have seen a photo on Instagram where somebody's already done that. They've power sanded the whole thing and it's that lighter wood color, more reminiscent of what is on the box. But you know what? I actually don't mind the, mind the color too much. It actually matches really well with my chairs. If you can see in the background there, I'm not sure whether it's going to live out here. It's going to live in my bedroom. Anyway, this is it. And I don't think I said it, but welcome to the video guys. Here is another apartment compilation video. Um, I don't know if I've got any other updates to show you thus far, except for my new cactus friends. These are a little roadside pickup hack. Basically somebody near by to me had these giant cactuses in the front garden and they were they live on like acreage and they were clearing the land and had chopped these up all into pieces and they were just sitting on the curbside so i went for a walk picked a couple up chopped them off these won't survive but i've given them a little bit of extra life until they completely dry out and they look awesome this little pot is from tk maxx got that recently and then this was another like top of a big one and I stuck it in the good old fridful pot from Ikea since my bird's nest fern is currently at home in the green shed my dad is trying to coax it back to life but yeah they are my new little cactus friends or cacti friends I'm here at Ikea I hadn't really planned on vlogging, but I realized that was a silly idea now that I'm going to be here because I'm definitely going to take some clips. So apologies in advance for the bad iPhone footage that you're about to see. But I hope you enjoy my little IKEA shopping expedition. Well, it's not really shopping. It's window shopping because I'm not planning on buying anything, but we're going to check some stuff out. It's Saturday. I'm killing some time. This is the range that I'm thinking of for my balcony, but maybe with the white rather than the beige cushions even though I know white is highly impractical, but it looks pretty. Some side table. You can even go to black, that's kind of cool. And I love this flooring. I would love to do something like this to the wall in my bedroom, but in like a dark charcoal color with the white on top and have no bed head. Dad, I know you're not watching, but this may be a project for us. I really love the look of these storage boxes as well. Maybe I'll get some for my linen press at some point. I think this is the rug that I've thought about for my bedroom. Completely left of centre for me, I usually am all about the plane. What do we think about this vibe? I know it's not for everybody and I love this layering. Really, really cool. I don't know if I can commit to that much colour. But I love it and look how big this is and it's only $1.99. Ideas, ideas, ideas. I really love these for the balcony as well. This was one of the first sort of sets that I was like, oh, this could be really cool. I think Emma Hill just recently used this in their studio makeover. I love the little side table as well. Then we got a little coffee table, some cushions. Again, don't know how practical the white is, but I'm very attracted to it. 
this was one of the original like armchairs that I was looking at. One of my first mood boards for the apartment had a couple of these armchairs in this colorway. Really like it. And for an armchair, $2.29 is pretty good value. This table is really cool because it folds down. It could work really well for the balcony. There's actually a smaller version that folds down to almost nothing that I'm thinking about getting and putting those black chairs with it, but then maybe also getting a couple of the matching chairs when you need a bit more seating. I really like this and it matches quite well with what my dad made for the air conditioning unit. See, this is the bed base that I originally wanted. It's the Nordly. However, unfortunately it only comes in queen, not king. So, I don't know if I want that one anymore. Instead, I'm thinking about this one, which is the Brimes. I actually currently have this but with the bed head. I don't want the bed head. I just want it up against the wall since my room isn't particularly wide. And what I'm thinking of doing is changing out these handles. I saw a photo on Pinterest with them changed out to like a black handle and it just looked nice. Although I plan on having bedding sort of come down over it anyway. So not sort of anything in particular. Potentially a good option because I'm going to go more expensive with the bedside tables, which I think is a better use of my money since you see the bedside tables. Whereas you don't really see the bed that much, especially since I'm not having a bed head at this point in time. And those drawers are awesome. What do we think? I mean, you really cannot go past all that extra storage. I also like the idea that I could put some kind of fancy bed head behind it if I wanted to and change that out depending on the style of the time. And it'll just kind of go with the white base anyway, because like I said, you have, um, what's the word, like your doona and whatnot draping over the edge of it. Honestly, if you need a recommendation for an Ikea product for basically any room of the house, I can probably give you one. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but that day bed that's in my spare room, that's what it looks like when it's extended out. <laughs> I saw this online. This is definitely on my wish list as well. I don't know what I would use it for, but I just love, love the look of it. I guess you could use it as a washing basket or just to store throw blankets and pillows. <laughs> like I need more of those. We're coming into the world of rugs. I love how this has got the frayed edge. I'm not as a big fan of these colours. Although this one over here with a bit of the navy in it. Navy almost black on the end. But that could really work as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I really like this one. Two ninety nine, and it's one hundred five by one sixty. That wouldn't work for the whole space, but it would potentially work. Oh no, it wouldn't be wide enough for the bed either. I need something a bit longer. At least you guys can get an idea of the vibe that I was thinking of with these type of rugs. If you see any online, especially these like flat weave ones, I see so many in US stores. Like Urban Outfitters has quite a few. They don't ship to Australia, so I need. Australian based ones or ones that will at least ship to Australia <laughs> This one could definitely work. Wow That's so big and it's only $159. Not that I have a spare $159 at the moment, but Possibility this one too not so much for the feel of it, but just for the color and the texture This is really nice too because it's quite flat $199 would actually lighten the carpet in my room as well. This one is new, but I definitely think this would be a favorite for a lot of people. It's the simple black with the natural, work in so many different spaces. This is the other one I've seen online and thought could be quite cool. It's kind of got more of a rust tone in it and then the natural, it's really flat as well. So I think it would sit nicely and still work under the drawers. And like that's massive and it's 300 which is still a lot of money but it's not crazy expensive compared to some rugs out there. Yeah. So the price $4.99 for gen as opposed to like 15, 16, 18, even more dollars that a lot of them are. The IKEA faux gum queen sort of eucalyptus is actually really nice quality, especially when it's all bunched together. Mum needs some for a vase, I should pick up her some. I love the colour of these flowers too. And they have really big faux cactuses. Now, where were these when I was looking for them? Because they certainly didn't have them then. I'm so, so tempted. 
so tempted. Just because I don't know if I could ever get a real one that size. And that would look awesome in a pot just in the corner. Maybe one day. Okay, I've got to leave. Otherwise I'll never get out of here, ever. I could just stay wandering around. How shiny am I at the moment? Oh, not too bad. Hi friends, how are you? It's been a while between check-ins. Um, not a lot has happened in the, or on the apartment front uh, for the last few weeks because I was basically playing a bit of money catch up, paying off all that stuff that I showed in the last video and I've just been really busy with work and life and the apartment has kind of taken a back seat but I have heard your many requests to keep on with these updates and you want to see more so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. You may notice, actually you probably won't because the camera still seems quite bright but it's a little bit darker in the apartment because... The blinds finally went in. So I have roller blinds now on all of the windows, as you can see in here. And if we go into the master bedroom, I think I've got the block out ones down. Yes, there you go, so you can see them in here. So as you can see in this bedroom, I had to get like a double and then a single, and each of them have like a white block out and then a sheer behind it. This is what the shears look like here. I am very happy to finally have some privacy. Honestly, if I was given any kind of choice, roller blinds usually wouldn't be my first choice when it comes to window coverings, just because I feel like they look a little bit clinical or a little bit, uh, I don't know, like you're in a hospital or in an office, but that is what uh, we kind of were told to get as part of, I guess, the strata. And also practical wise, for me, I just thought it was easiest to get a sheer and then a roller blind rather than trying to do like a roller blind and then like get some nice sheer curtains. I just thought everything is taking so long, I would rather just get it all done at once. Uh, and it's finally um, paid for and all that now. So that is good. I can move on to the next step in the apartment. Um, this is the only window here that doesn't have the sheer as well as the block out just because I probably will just leave this open most of the time. They do have to come back and fix two because this one and one of the ones up there have silver bases and the rest all have just white which is what I'd requested so that still has to happen but overall very happy to have blinds in. I used Winston blinds for um, those of you in Australia or in New South Wales, I'm assuming they're Australia wide, but anyway. Um, and so far the service has been pretty good. They did cost a pretty penny, but it was a necessary investment for the apartment. So that's probably the major update that happened. That went in, uh, I think it was the second Tuesday or third Tuesday in September. So um, a couple of weeks ago now. Other things to share with you guys. I don't think I actually showed the uh, stool styled I keep on calling it a stool, the side table styled, but right now I have it sitting in here. I've just got my lovely Kmart cactus and I've got my little baby cactus there. That one usually sits on the uh, bar cart, but as you can see, I've started playing around with a little bit of Halloween bits and pieces because I'm about to sort of style the apartment for Halloween or decorate the apartment for Halloween. I was naughty and I purchased a whole bunch of stuff from TK Maxx uh, for Halloween. Um, I just, I couldn't resist. That was my like happy money and it made me happy to to buy new Halloween decorations. So I'm actually gonna film a haul uh, with those and I will show them sort of in situ. So I think that video will actually go up before this one. So if you haven't seen it, I'll pop a link on the screen for you guys to check it out. Um, if you're interested in like Halloween, Halloween decor, or just wanna know, have a bit of a sticky beak as to what I picked up. You may also have spotted another little box sitting in the background here. I just brought this up from my car because it's been sitting in my boot since the 5th of September when I think it launched. This is an Aldi special buy, another one. Uh, it's actually like another side table. I do not need any more side tables, but if any of you remember last video, I showed the Martini side table from West Elm, which looks eerily reminiscent of this one here. This came out in the collection uh, like a week after I talked about it in that video. <laughs> and this was only $49, so you know I had to get it. I actually didn't think I would, but my dad was nice enough to go pick it up for me. I didn't even realize that he was going to do it because I obviously was at work when it launched, but 
We might open it up in the box and just have a quick look-see. Bubble wrap, packaging, warranty, more packaging. This one's actually packaged pretty well. I was quite impressed, I think, considering sometimes how many issues Audi seem to have <laughs> with quality control. I'm happy to say that I didn't really notice anything with this one when I checked it. Oh, let's move this out of the way. Pop you down there. And there we have it. So it's quite a antique gold color, which I quite like. It's on the more matte side. So it's that matte metallic type of finish. It's kind of coming across a little bit uh, more green on the camera. Uh, I think it's because it is that like antique gold tone. I have actually thought about spraying this which is a definite possibility to make it like a little bit more metallic like it shows on the box, although that's obviously just like a photo. But overall, I think it's really cool. I love the shape of it. I love the fact that I have it. You could really paint it any color that you wanted to, white, black, use a chrome spray paint, whatever, whatever you think. So let me know if any of you picked this side table up or any of the other items in that particular week of Audi special buyers there were a lot of really cool homewares that week so little side table there I think that will end up in my bedroom well done on the mess Rachel the other thing that I've kind of played around with is these shelves I'm still working and tweaking on them this will definitely be sort of the part of my apartment that I think will change a lot or change the most just because it's sort of the only kind of shelves I have at the moment, the only opportunity for me to do any kind of styling and I just have a feel like it's they're going to be a constant change out, change in, work in progress. But you can see I have a new print here. This one is actually from Urban Outfitters. I ordered that a long time ago. I think I ordered it the same time that I ordered the Winky Cushion and I just had it sitting there in... Um, in my bedroom at home waiting to get some kind of frame because the frame shape was or frame size was just wasn't something that seemed to be common around here in the end i ended up just buying a cheap frame off of ebay it was only about 33 dollars and to be honest it showed up kind of damaged so i took photos sent it back and i managed to get a refund for the frame i held on to it and kind of fixed it the best that i could because it's far away it's not too bad but um if you do live in America and you do like their prints, I would say just buy the frames probably from Urban Outfitters easier. I just, coming to Australia, I don't think I was able to do that. But I've also brought over some photos and I've got some books up there. I got a plant here for that Kmart little, uh, what do you call it, little mini pot that I have. These are just from Habitania. Got my Instax camera out, some books, just playing around. And then I've still got my little cacti friends here oh and speaking of cacti friends i don't know that's a really weird segue i got a new plant this i picked up i think it was the same day that i did the ikea trip i happened to go over to bunnings and i grabbed this baby and i wish i had been able to show you guys when i first got it because it was a lot smaller than this and it's thriving and it makes me so happy <laughs> because I have not been the most successful plant mum, but this baby has grown. I have so many leaves. Look, we've got new shoots coming left, right, and center. Look, here's a new baby here. And even this one, I just noticed out of the corner of my eye, this is a new shoot coming up. I'm so happy that I'm not a complete plant mum failure. Yay, I just need to stick to certain plants. Clearly, bird's nest ferns aren't really my thing. The aluminium plant wasn't doing very well it's doing better at like my family home than it is here but the elephants here and the zanzibar gem winning 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 and i just needed like i need, just needed to find my groove with the right plants i think i was about to put my camera down but i realized it's been a hot minute since i talked about h&m home and i have actually been back and picked up a couple of little things the first one is this bath mat uh, for my bathroom. I haven't got towels to match this quite yet. I have seen some online in the UK store, so I'm hoping that they come to Australia, some ones that I'd like to pair with this. But for now, I just grabbed the bath mat just to see how I liked it. And I really like the colors and I love the fringing. I just feel like it feels 
very fun, kind of different for me. I've always gone plain and boring bath mats, but with this apartment, we're doing fun bath mats. And then obviously, I still have these towels here, which I will probably pair with whatever kind of ones that I get to go with this. I'm thinking I'll probably get try and get some in this sort of dark gray color to, to tie it all together. And then the other two items that I purchased are these ones here. I've just realized that she's probably put these in so well this is not going to come out. One moment. That's better. So the first one is this basket pot type thing. I plan on using it for a plant. I'm not sure whether it'll end up in the living room space or in my bedroom space. Right now I'm thinking maybe my bedroom space, but you just, you never know. This was $24.95 and something about it, I just saw it and fell in love with it. It was a good size. It was a small enough size for a plant. I could even put a cactus in it. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I I just saw it and it was a it was an impulse buy. <laughs> the other thing that I purchased is this blanket. I have been looking for a blanket to protect, potentially hang on a ladder in my bedroom. I have this whole plan of what my bedroom will look like, but um, it obviously has not really started yet. It's just kind of been a dumping ground for the time being. Uh, but this one was $79.99. It's 130 by 170. So it could also potentially uh, go on my bed as well. We shall see. But it's just black and neutral with some little pom-poms on the end. I thought it was really cute and it's nice and soft. So I picked it up. And I think now that is everything that I need to share with you guys today. I'm back in my bedroom at home and I wanted to round off this video because I am actually waiting to go to Ikea to do a little bit of shopping so I want to start that as my next home update or apartment update vlog. So before I end this one I thought I would quickly show you guys my mood board that I have set up for my bedroom. Um, I know I've talked about this before but I use a program called Pick Monkey and um, another online program to create mood boards and also to edit photos that I've taken so that I can place um, product shots in just to see or to give me a general idea of how things would look in uh, my space or in the space that I'm trying to decorate. It's not 100% foolproof, but it just, it helps give you an idea of what you're trying to achieve. And it's something to refer back to for me as well as I'm buying pieces, because I obviously can't go out and buy everything all at once. As you've seen, I buy little bits and pieces along the way and I wait for things to go on sale. So that process takes a lot of time. And if you don't have something to refer back to, it's easy to buy things and then realize that they don't go together later on. So I have my computer here. I'm going to turn on screen uh, screen filming on this. Hopefully it will work. Fingers crossed that the IT gods are with me so you guys can see what is happening on the screen as I do it. Okay, let's see if I can work out how to do this. <laughs> I think we're recording. Yes, fine, good. We got there in the end. So this is PicMonkey. I have an account. I use this, as you can see, to create my... Uh, thumbnails and, and bits and pieces. I've used this for many, many years and um, you can see all of my little bits and pieces there. They recently created something called the Hub which saves all of them for you so you can go back and edit things as you um, go along. Now we scroll up here, this photo of my boss that I was currently editing. This is where we are currently sitting with my bedroom. Uh, mood board and this is one type of mood board that I create where you will have a white background and then you can place uh, images of the bits of furniture that you might want in a layout that it might sit in. So sometimes you might just have a white screen with a whole bunch of stuff on it which I'll show you an example of. I did that for the living room. Other times you might have a photo of something and then place images on top but in this instance I have done the whole uh, sort of laying it out how my bedroom would lay. So this is it on the screen. You can see I have a bed here from Ikea. I currently have this bed and that is why um, I, I just wanted something simple. So I've kind of gone for this. You can see I've got some bedside tables. This is the sort of the vibe and the color scheme. I've actually already ordered these cushions here from Urban Outfitters. So hopefully they'll come. This probably won't be an exact layout just because uh, my room doesn't have quite this much space and this would obviously be flat against the wall. That mirror might not be there. It's just to give you a general 
a general sense of the vibe that I'm going for. If we go back here, you can see I have another slightly different iteration, which I was testing out some different bedside tables and some different use of the space on the side here. So um, these are also from West Elm, but they're a different style. As you can see, they are also a little bit um, not quite as wide. And then this is a little mini desk from West Elm, which I thought potentially I could use as a uh, like vanity type area in my bedroom. I'm not sure whether I want that or whether I want to uh, go with a like storage unit here, like the black one that you saw and use this more for storage and then just keep any kind of makeup application and vanity unit type thing in the second bedroom. Uh, I'm still on the fence about that one, but again, you can see I've kind of kept the same vibe, some of the same main pieces. It's just switching out these and I'm not quite ready to buy the bedside tables yet. I'm waiting for a sale in West Elm. So uh, I still have some time to figure that out. <laughs> If we scroll through here, you can see uh, some of the other ways that I've done things. So this is a shot of the room itself. Here we go. So this is a pretty bad example, but it gives you a little bit of an idea. I'd taken a photo of the apartment. This was just a dodgy one on my iPhone. And I think it was when I'd just gotten the lounge in. And you can see that I have tried to intersperse the rug. I've also put in a shot of the uh, uh, coffee table that I ended up buying. Here's a lamp that I was thinking of, and this is also an artwork. So these bits and pieces here aren't actually in the photo, and then this is just the photo in the background. This is another way that you can, of course, place things in just to see how you think that they might look. To do this, I would actually go here to Pixlr, which is another free uh, online uh, editing program, kind of like Photoshop, but a lot easier to use and, and obviously it is free. So what I would do is I download an image from a website and um, it could be anything. If we just scroll through here, what have I got that I could use? Okay, so let's say this seagrass basket here. This one is from Kmart, I think. I found the image off the website. I would have just saved it down. And what I'll do is open it. I'll use this one tool to select all the white space. It really helps if you have a photo with a white background because it means that you can um, easily, uh, I guess, select the image itself so you don't have any background. So basically I've selected all of the white, then I'm going to invert that selection so that I'm selecting anything that wasn't white, which is basically what I actually want. And I'm going to copy that. Then if I go to File, New Image, and I create an image from the clipboard, which is what I've just copied, I make sure it has a transparent background and I can give it a name. Here I'll just call it Seagrass Basket. Then I go OK, and then it opens the image up just like so, which is how we want it. I'll then go and save that. It's really important there that you change it to a PNG, which gives you the transparent full quality of the photo, go OK. I'm going to save it to this folder here that I've got all the other stuff in, and there it is. And then I'd go back to Pick Monkey, and in here you can add your own shapes. I'm going to add my own image from the computer itself, and then I'm going to scroll down and try and find where I saved that seagrass basket. I've got a lot of images in here because you can see I've been working off this file, creating a whole bunch of different stuff. But there we are there open that and then it appears in your image and then you can resize it and move it around and I can see what things would look like there and that's really how I do everything I will either do that on a white background or I'll do that on a photo and that's how I created all of these little bits and pieces once you kind of get a general idea of how to do it it does become really simple and really quick to do scrolling through here you can see some of my early uh, living room mood boards that I had with different bits and pieces in. I still have some of the same things obviously and some of the things I have changed out. We keep on going back, look I was doing some more photoshopping for people, vlogmas. Uh, here is like some really early living room mood boards. So here you can see this one. This is a, a version where I've just dumped a whole bunch of uh, images on the just white background. 
So there are some things that I still really like and would um, include. That's the IKEA chair that I mentioned earlier that I've decided to go in a different direction, but I do still really like that. I was originally looking at having a leather lounge. That pot I, I ended up getting. I still really love this mirror from Freedom. That is the uh, media stand that I want and I still want that. I obviously got that table from Ikea and I did get the wishbone chair but I got it in the lighter colour. So you can see the evolution but I, I have kind of stuck to uh, what I originally was thinking in terms of my uh, living room space. And obviously it changes based on what you can buy and what you can't buy and things like that. There's that little martini side table from West Elm that's still coming up that I have the Aldi dupe for. So hopefully this has been interesting for you. Here you can see another mood board that I have for my bedroom. Again, same main pieces, but I have a little tapestry here, which is from Urban Outfitters. It's currently out of stock, but you never know. It might come back. It might end up on my a wall, or maybe I'll put some uh, photos there or some prints. I also have here the IKEA rug. It was really hard to get a shot of that, uh, but there's sort of an idea of if I wanted to layer that together. I'm not sure if something like this is going to be a little bit too much for my room just because the space isn't that large. So uh, I may just stick to a plain rug or maybe no rug at all. But this is how I do everything. And hopefully this has helped you maybe if you're looking at uh, creating a um, new space for yourself or you're redecorating your house or maybe you're buying a new place. Definitely have a go at this if you would like and even more like... From the very start tutorial I could potentially do that I feel like that might be a little bit boring but if you have any questions ask me in the description box below and I'll try and answer them for you the best that I can and I think that'll be it for this uh, this apartment update I'm gonna start a new one very very soon uh, probably today so um, look out for that that will be coming and you can see that mood board for my bedroom hopefully come to life I will talk to you guys all very soon bye